What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Today I'm doing Wayne Gretzky number 99. This is a Canadian whiskey bottled at 40%. It's aged in wine barrels, or finished in wine barrels, red wine barrels that is, which uh, hopefully is the reason it's that color, but knowing that it's Canadian whiskey, there's a good chance that there's added color in this. Uh, the, it being bottled at 40% indicates that it's very likely chill filtered. Okay, um, this was a gift to me. All right, and it's only available in Ontario right now, which is why once I'm done this review, I'm gonna be sending this bottle to BC for other reviewers, Trenny and C, the guys that I did the shirt swap with, if you haven't followed them already, follow them. They're really, really funny guys. They do whiskey reviews as well. They're doing a lot of really nice stuff. Uh, they want to do the Wayne Gretzky number 99. I've only had this a few times, and when I first opened it, I did not love it, okay? It kind of tasted like crayons. Um, so I hope that has changed, because I haven't touched this in a few months, actually. It's been sitting there for a while. So, a friend of mine and I opened it, we had a couple glasses each. We were not big, the biggest fans. Hopefully that's changed right now. Um, I'm not expecting much. There is the 9.06% rule. I think that's the exact number, I could be wrong. Basically, just under 10% um, or just over 9% of this whiskey could be anything else. What I didn't know is that a Canadian whiskey can call itself a 20 year old whiskey. So for example, uh, let's say Crown Royal came out with a 20 year old Crown Royal. I don't wanna use some of the, the uh, ones that I've already reviewed that I really like because I'm trying not to believe that some of that might not be 20 year old whiskey. But with that 9.06 rule, just over 9% of that whiskey can be as young as three years old. It just has to be old enough to be considered Canadian whiskey to be in that bottle. Which means, although 90% of it is 20 years old, 9.06% can be three years old. And they can still write on the bottle 20 years old based on Canadian law. This really pisses me off. This is the one thing I can't stand about Canadian whiskey laws. I wish they would change it Companies are not going to be the ones to change it, so laws have to change because companies obviously, which rightly so, are going to take advantage of this because they know they can, all right? Um, I don't know what can be done about this. It's really upsetting to find out, but at the end of the day, um, if you ask some global ambassadors, they will be honest with you and tell you exactly what's in that bottle. Others won't disclose it because ultimately they don't have to, all right? Um, there is no age statement on this, so it's safe to say that this is no older than three years old. Probably, I uh, just wanna make sure that I read this correctly. Yeah, it just says it's finished in red wine barrels, so it could be in regular barrels for three years and then move to red wine barrels for two months, who knows? Okay, and then the rest is added color. Who knows? I don't. It doesn't say it anywhere on the bottle, and there's no box. So I guess if you guys know, you can list it in the comments below. But based on how I originally felt of this, I wasn't overwhelmed with the idea of doing research on it. So I'm just gonna tell you how it tastes, how it smells, and we'll go from there. Okay, so that that crayon smell has not gone away, it's still there. You do smell red wine, but it's such a strong, waxy, crayon-like smell. It brings me back to my youth and not in a good way. Beneath that, and it's hard to wave through that, but beneath that there's some strawberry. a little bit of dark fruit from the red wine. Now, Wayne Gretzky was an incredible hockey player. 
maybe the best of all time. His stats definitely would indicate that he was the best of all time. His wine and whiskey products are far inferior to his hockey play. Um, it's pain, it pains me to know that he puts his name on stuff that are subpar. He should only be putting his stuff on his name on stuff that's excellent and beyond. Because um, that's how good a hockey player he was. His name shouldn't be tarnished based on his whiskey and wine output. I haven't had a lot of his wine, but the wine that I have had, I wasn't a big fan of. And now this. I know there's a lot of people that like this, and I'm trying not to trash it, but I, at the end of the day, it's only $30. Probably decent for a mixed drink. I haven't mixed it myself, but it's. we're going to taste it and find out if it's a sip of wine. It's not bad on the palate. It's light, it's smooth, there's absolutely no alcohol bite. It's got some sweetness to it. You don't pick up that crayon-y taste as much on the palate as you smell it on the nose. Okay, so that little bit of time sitting in the bottle open has done some positive for the palate because it's actually not that bad the palate is actually pretty good I'm gonna say it's sweet there's some fruity elements to it because of the influence of red wine I'm not sure what is added as far as that 9.06 percent rule but It's pretty light, not overwhelming at all. It's sippable, definitely, but the nose, I would say the nose improves a little bit as you taste it. But you get that, that waxy smell to it that I'm just, it's pretty off-putting. Okay, here's my recommendation. I'm gonna give this a C plus, all right? Because the palate is a lot better than nose. I was almost gonna give this a D plus originally, but the palate is a lot better than the nose. So here's my recommendation. Do not use a Glencairn glass for this whiskey. Use a regular open tumbler because what will happen is you're not gonna get that concentrated smell that you will with a, a Glencairn glass and that'll benefit the overall experience in my opinion, okay? Um, it's it's a sippable whiskey. It's actually not bad tasting at all. Um, I would say if I just had to grade the taste, I'd give it a B. But because I'm grading the taste and the nose, uh, it's a C plus. All right. So not horrible. I wish it was much better. I wish there wasn't added color. I wish it was it wasn't chill filtered, and I wish it wasn't forty percent. All that being said. Um, Overall, for $30, you, you probably can't go wrong getting this. If you're gonna drink this with other, like, like in mixed drinks or with ice in a tumbler, this is actually not bad. This is on par with your standard Canadian whiskeys, all right? Um, I just highly would recommend not to use a Glencairn glass because with the Glencairn glass, that nose is not very pleasant. All right, so C plus, not a terrible mark. Um, it's sippable, but like I said, use a tumbler. All right, um, so that's it for that. I will be heading to Arizona this week. All right, um, I plan to do which is upstairs my red breast 21 year old, just because um, I'm not gonna get a chance to review it during the week, and because I'll be in Arizona. Um, I plan to post that next Friday. Okay, so there might not be a Monday review or video, but next Friday you'll be getting the Red Breast 21 year old. So you'll find out what I think about that. I've had a couple opportunities to try it. I need a little bit more time with it. So I'll probably be tasting it a few times this weekend, record my video this Sunday, and then post it next Friday when I get back. Okay, um, after that, I definitely plan to do the Van Winkle 12. I wanted to say thank you 
um, from the bottom of my heart to Nicholas, all right, from Highland Park and McCallum. He did an awesome job in that interview that I did with him last week. If you haven't had an opportunity to see it yet, you should definitely check it out. He reveals a ton of stuff that even I didn't know about whiskey. Um, he's just a very knowledgeable guy. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys watch that. He gave me some samples, so I have Highland Park Dark Origins, Highland Park 18 year old, the uh, McAllen double cask at 40%. The one that I have is the American one because I had my sister-in-law pick this up for me when she was in New York. This one's at 43%, so perhaps I will review the 40%. And review the 43%. Let's see if there's any differences. I'm not sure. Uh, and last but not least, McAllen cask strength. This is the no age statement one that is 48.6%. This is very, very difficult to come by. I can't wait to try this. And obviously, it's no, non chill filtered based on the information that Nicholas gave me. All right, so I plan on doing. These as well as the JP Weiser's Double Still Rye and Lot 40, which were given to me by Spencer Gooderham. He's the ambassador for uh, Corby's. So that'll be coming up shortly as well. Um, then I also have um, interviews similar to the one that I did with Nicholas, with the Glenfiddich ambassador, Beth, the Corby's ambassador, um, Spencer and hopefully I think I might have Jamie as well who is the the Balvini ambassador But she hasn't confirmed yet. We were in preliminary talks. So hopefully I can uh, get that one as well uh, I got my fingers crossed, but we'll see what happens and then if I can get those three I'm hoping to do at least one more to complete a series of five and It seems like you guys like it because it's getting quite a few views and it's doing quite well as far as comments as well so got a bunch of stuff coming up like i said i want to get to this van winkle because i want to do that head to head with the weller 12 as well and i possibly will include the elijah craig 12 in that do a head to head blind taste test between the three of them because i'm very curious to know which one of the three is most suits my palate because there's a huge price difference between them, all right? Anyway, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, just type in Whiskey in the Six, you'll find me, all right? Check out Spreadshirt as well, there's some decent stuff on there, all right? If you like the symbol, I'm trying to get some hats, but it's hard to get them through Spreadshirt, so we'll see what happens. I hope I can get them shortly. Maybe I'll order a whole bunch myself and then ship them out to you guys if you guys want them, all right? I'm getting very close to 1,000 subscribers, and I have you guys to thank, so thank you very much and cheers.